King of Paul, hello and welcome to the kill stream. Hello, can you hear me? I can. What's up? It's been a long time, man. It has been. It's been many years, actually. <laughs> Congrats on your sober, thank your sober you, sober sobriety. I appreciate that. Three you weeks. Needed to do it, man. That, those last three months were pretty. Uh, they were pretty dark, man. <laughs> they were pretty rough. Yeah, and you know, I didn't really understand how worried people were about me until I got sober, and then I read a lot of these messages, and they're like, "Man, I thought you were." <laughs> You know, you might. Yeah, a lot of people thought you were. That was it. Yeah, that that like I might you die. Talking yeah. about the seizures, I was like, oh, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have that's any this good. time, but I've had them before. Yeah, and uh, they're not good now. So, um, but yeah, um, it's 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 been great. I lost some lost some weight, still losing weight, and uh, three weeks sober. So, well, keep it up, man. Keep it up. When do you get your next chip? What is it? Three months? You get it at, th at thirty days. They actually have thirty. 30 I didn't know they had a sixty, yeah. but they do have a sixty. So thirty, sixty, ninety. And then I think are it they going to get you? Are you getting a months. sponsor at all? Or I have one. Doing, um... I have one actually. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Now I haven't talked to. I don't want to reveal anybody. You know, you're not really no, supposed no, to no, tell. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so I w there's a lot of stories <laughs> that I want to tell from AA, quite frankly. But you're not really supposed to do that, right? You're yeah, not don't do it, man. So Just I don't. Write it out. Yeah, thing. I talk about going AA, but I don't share the stories. The only people that would like that kind of content, the people who don't like you. So just yeah, I feel that way. And also, you're kind of dishonoring AA or whatever. But I talk about going but i don't talk about what's said there or the people and stuff so right yeah but yeah it's been a it's been a great change uh still some stuff to to fix of course but um yeah it's been great i appreciate the kind of words yeah man so you're watching the ashton stuff man i don't know i don't know what's going on with this guy i mean he's you know this guy we we didn't, we helped him with the show and everything like that we wanted to do a bunch of different content and it became like a feud with you and him about shit that wasn't even true. I mean, when I found out he lied about the church, I was like, right. you mean to tell me he didn't even get you kicked out of the church? I was like, what the fuck? So. Yeah. Godwinson uh, actually told me the same thing. And he was like, I thought that was real for years. Yeah. And he told everybody. Well, he told all of us that, yeah. you know, that it was real. And that was like, that was his initial beef with you essentially, at least from my, my perspective, right. uh, that seemed to be where his contingency was is, Oh, he got me kicked out of church. He went after my family. Da, 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 da. Um, and he just rode off the coattails of that. And that seemed to be the case. But then when we, when we all were trying to start, we were like, Hey man, let's just talk about anything else. But Nick Fuentes and Ralph, it was, uh, it just wasn't going to happen. Plus there was, it was, it was a bunch of other shit in between all that. But, um, you we know, wanna... I wish the guy the best. I mean, he's had this eating problem even when we knew him and we, we were friendly with him. And, um, I mean, he is a pathological liar, so you have no idea what the fuck he's saying is true or not and what's going on, but the guy's clearly over 500 pounds. He's still eating his feelings, um, which is unfortunate. You know, I tried to help the guy with, like, we like uh, like I would go to the gym or I'd show him stuff, and I, I'd be working out and be like, you could try this, you could try that, and the guy would, like, order on the call, like, a dozen Big Macs and, like, two fucking large pizzas <laughs> at the same time, and we'd be like, and I'd be like, dude, what the fuck? I gave up after, like, the third month. I was like, this guy's just not going to go and Well, exercise, that's what I don't you know. know if people understand. I've heard some stories about him, too, you know, the seven bags of chips at one time, and people, family size. Yeah, all the eight bags of chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it or whatever size. it was. Well, yeah. people think that that's, like, made up or it's some type of exaggeration. It's actually no. not. If anything, no, it's, it's underselling it. Yeah, like when, he eats when, like uh, that. It, it really became. I thought it was made up too <laughs> when the whole cabin thing happened, and him and, and him and the the surfer guy had a falling out. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked to him, and we were friendly. We were friends with him, so you know, we talked to him, and he was really down. And he just he we this was right when that punt the gun stuff was happening, and he was just I was like just stay with it. And I mean, literally at the same time we're saying stay with it, the guy's like Uber eating like a like I'm telling you, it was like nuts. He'd Uber eat like a couple dozen fucking things of chicken nuggets and fucking large pizza all at once, like all at once. And it was like, whoa. Well, people like, think not just like a, one meal. It'd be like five meals for one person. Well, remember yeah, that? Like it was nuts. He did some eating videos um, a, a couple years uh, ago. Yeah, the chicken nugget challenge and the sushi. Well, people think that that was like out of the norm for him, but that he was. <laughs> That's not really. That's kind of how he ate in the first place, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah those he, he are eats like that. You can't. I don't know if you can find those easily now. But yeah, where he's eating like a hundred Mc, McNuggets or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just you know when you have a. An, I mean, you know addiction. When sure. You have a food addiction. It's just like any other addiction, and and it's hard to quit, especially when things fuck with you. You, and he gets fucked with, just like me or sure. you get fucked with. And I don't. I don't wish. I don't know. Well, it's dopamine. And, I don't know if people saying, understand. Like, when food I saw the like, stream, I saw yeah. the stream that night. And I, I, you know, I tuned in for like 15 minutes just to see what, how he looked and stuff. And he looked rough. And I was like, in my head, I was like, did he just leave the hospital today? And then Worski put him on cam. 
like was like, hey man, we got to make some money. Let's get on the show. And it's like he's supposed to be probably bed rest. Probably That's has what to I thought be too. For, like, you know what I mean? He just left the hospital. Well, you know, Warski um, doesn't give a fuck about him for sure because he doesn't well, give a fuck about I mean, anybody. I, he never gave a fuck when we were running <laughs> yeah. the show. The guy just showed up for ten minutes, asked what what was going on, and then that was it. Then he just we go live, they go live, and that was it. And I mean, even now, it's like the guy's in the hospital for what two weeks or whatever, and Warski doesn't do a single stream. Well, yeah, Warski, like, why did he fire make, something? And up? like, this is your, this is your job. This is what you say you want to do as a career is this drama, drama podcasting stuff. And you know, you do the same thing. You're a podcaster who makes the money, and you know, you know the business. And if you're not streaming, you're not making money, bro. So, so just because he's in the hospital doesn't mean Warski couldn't go on live and talk about some content or well, whatever. Think of the fuck how many shows the guy was recovering. Think of how many shows Warski has done over his career. I mean, just turn the camera on, dude. Like, are you that pathetic? But if you look at the history, like he always had a co-host uh, on those shows. But still, it's like he could have done it. Uh, yeah. Kryler or yeah, whatever exactly. The fuck the guy's Get that name ball. Is. Th- exactly. And had a temporary, or maybe even Pot Awful. I remember yeah. him and Jesse Pot Awful were friends. I don't know if that's still the case. You know, what I'm saying is, is that if this, if your co-host is like out of commission and he's also your roommate, like you guys work together and live together to pay the bills. Um, you know, and he's literally in a hospital bed and he can't do anything. You might, you might have to step up and just do the show, not wait, right. for, wait till the guy gets out of the hospital and, and tell him to hop up on cam the same day he gets out. It's he gets very, released. It's very predatory. Yeah. I mean, it's very predatory. It's just nutty. Yeah. It's like, I thought that at the beginning, it was like, they must be, he must need some money. Warski or PPP or both. Well, because... he didn't, I mean, he didn't stream for like two weeks and, and you know, Toronto's not cheap. I mean, their, oh. their apartment's at least $3,000 a month. It's very you know, expensive. Expensive ass fucking Canada's expensive as shit. So I, I don't I don't know how he fucking affords half the shit out there. I mean, have you seen their food? I mean, people make jokes about their grocery store prices all the Dude, time. It's ridiculous. I've actually looked at cost of living in Toronto because Toronto is one it's of the nuts. safest cities uh, in North America. So is Merida, where I live. And so I was comparing it to Toronto, and it's similar on the crime stats and safety. But on the cost of living, it's like four or five times more. Um, and it's yeah, like it's two or three it's times nuts. more than the U.S. Even you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, it's um. Well, crazy. that doesn't even include the taxes you pay. Oh yeah, you, you know you got to pay for the the health care and all this other shit. Um, it's just it's extremely expensive to just live. I mean, Worski kind of touched on it in one of his streams. He mentioned that buying a case of beer was fifty dollars, and that's like Bud Light. That's insane. You know, that's like you know, like your regular beer, and it's like whoa, not even imported. So you're just like holy shit, fifty bucks for a case of beer is nuts. I couldn't, yeah, I was about to say, I did, you know, I did, so some things are more expensive here, like Zelda cost me like 90 something dollars, which I was like, what the fuck, yeah. I should have just downloaded it, well, it's because they imported it, and the Mexican government makes money yeah, off import, import it, yeah. fees, alright, let's see, Alright, we weren't going there, PPP is hopelessly addicted to food, it's just like Brian here and his addiction, he sees fat fucking right. cocks and right. just has to put them in his mouth, much like PPP wow. and right. his dozen Big Wait. Macs. We were addiction is sad. We were having a friendly conversation. Isn't the isn't that the same guy that hangs out with flamenco and those guys and and uh, Kino Shea? Um, Remember that black guy? I don't think he hangs the out with them. Crew? I don't know if he hangs out with. Yeah, him. he was hanging out in Kino Shea's server when Kino Shea and all those guys yeah, were fucking with you. He was talking. He was talking to him, but he was kind of talking shit at him. I think a little yeah. bit, but yeah, I don't know. No, I mean he did at first, but then he just started hanging out with most of those guys that were fucking with your IRL. I mean, I remember specifically him sitting in there. So I don't know why he's donating money to you when he's he was trying to ruin your life. So that's strange, but okay. But yeah, look, I'm I'm staying off that. We're keeping it friendly. I'm not, and I talked about some of the stuff. You know, I have some regrets about certain things. Um, but, you know, certain others, it's like, well, I didn't do that. But whatever. Uh, it, the PPP thing, um, you know, him lying about the church. I'm glad you mentioned that, though, because I had that same conversation with Godwinson, and he said, well, I thought that was real. You know, I thought I was. Yeah, we all thought that was Yeah, real. he's like, I thought I was doing the right <laughs> thing, basically, right? You know, I was <laughs> fucking with this guy who's fucking with other people, which I have fucked with people, but not like that. And so, you know, that did kind of bother me. And also, there's enough dirt about me already. Like, just stick to the truth, you know? <laughs> Right? Like, yeah. I don't know. You can, uh, yeah, that's kind of, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just talk about. On, on a lot of people, you can just Yeah, kind of just tell the truth. Like, what the fuck? There's plenty of shit to, to make fun of or fuck with me over that's actually true. Right. So, I don't know. Um, I will say this on a side note, just to get off of PPP for just a second, because sure. I, don't, I don't have a lot of time. I had cool. time earlier. I was waiting for a couple hours, but um, but I'm about to pick up my kid. But, um, all right, hold on. I'll let this go through. I'll let you. stupid, and I won't show you my cock all brain. Right. Spin all you want. All right, go ahead. And um, say what you're going to say there. Uh, But isn't it? uh, Have you been enjoying this Joshua Connor Moon shit? Yes, I have. My ass off at this fucking retard. Now, so this dumb, stupid, fucking beta retard. This broke dick nigga has been so retarded. 
It's all of his fault, too. He keeps blaming all these trannies and all these people that he doesn't have. He doesn't provide any evidence, by the way, of anything he says. He no. just says, don't worry, it's happening. And then um, and then it just, you know, shit happens. But it's all this nigga's fault. I mean, it's always been his fault. It's, it's never been, like, the sites or, like, the, the people fucking with him. It's, it's just a product of his own mouth and what he does. It's just stupid. Agreed. And, y- bad, you know, he started. Okay. Anonymous sent $3. Congrats on the kid. Didn't know you were a father. I knew that about King and Paul. Are oh, you talking about me? Yeah, yeah I got, I got yeah. kids. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, I've, so I've been monitoring. I stopped going to Kiwi Farms because I was like, I don't need to read this negativity, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's like if you read it every day like I was doing, it starts – It you can't help but let it seep into it your brain. Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, it'll fuck it, with you. It's not it'll healthy to read that shit. So I stopped no, reading not. it, and then right around the time I stopped going to the site, it was like April 25th. I remember because it was like the day that I quit drinking, the day before, I think. And so – I stopped going to the site, and then I don't think you can get on there from the clear net now. Isn't it all tour? No, uh, so he got – okay. He or did got he get back fuck, on the clear so, net? Yeah, go ahead. Um, and it's all his fault, too. I mean, he keeps blaming Keffels and these trannies and right. the drop kiwi farm thing. That that happened because of, because of what happened before that. What happened before that is he fucked with Zoom. You remember Zoom, right? Yes, 100%, yeah. So Zoom, Zoom got out of the like the whole whatever the internet doxing business, I guess, and he got into business with some dude, one of his buddies of his, and they opened up some data center um, called Path Networking, and they they actually exploded. It was like a startup that blew up, and they went out and they made a shitload of money, and they ended up buying a bunch of other data centers all around the world. Well, Josh, Josh, one of Josh's data center they had at the time was owned by Zoom and Path Networking, and Zoom had some disgruntled employee. Uh, go on Kiwi Farms and basically uh, post his new docs and and a bunch of and leak a bunch of shit that was internal data from the this this networking company that Zoom was a CCO of, and um, the the Path Networking contacted Josh and said, "Hey, can you can you remove that stuff that has a lot of our sensitive stuff of how, how our systems work?" And Josh, in Josh fashion, you know how he is. He published all the emails unredacted. He called the owner a pedophile and a sadist with no evidence. He, you know, he dropped the full docs. He used the guy. He, he put it all out there. He went on stream and announced everyone should just target this place. Um, and then, like, within a week, uh, he got a criminal subpoena. I think it was, like, a subpoena from the Canadian government because Path Network is located in Canada um, to hand over his servers uh, from his data center to his data center that he had. And he freaked out because um, they owned it. They owned the data center that was that. So then Josh had paid some fucking guy to walk into the, to the building and take the servers and run and mail them to him over in Serbia. And then right when that happened, the, all those trannies jumped down his throat because they saw, oh, shit, he's going through some shit. Let's get on. Right? I had no idea about the all backstory. Those- I knew a little bit about the path stuff, but I didn't know all yep. that. Yeah, so he, he started all that bullshit unnecessarily. I mean, all he had to do was ignore Zoom and shit. He knew that Zoom and them owned his company that he was using, they, that he was he was underneath. So it made no sense why he would do that, but he's an idiot. I mean, it's Josh. You already know this. He's a fucking moron. He's always been a moron. Um, well, so tra- all that all that shit Sorry. went down first. The site got temporary down for like a week. Then he, then he as he was trying to set it up, the, the drop Kiwi Farm stuff happened. And all the rest of that shit is just history of him just fucking with these trannies and them going balls deep down his throat. But what happened essentially is all these T1 providers and these ISPs basically agreed that, hey, this site is just – this .com site and the, the owner is just blacklisted from Anonymous having sites. Anonymous sent $3. Awesome. What's the going rate for a professional server thief? I don't know. I'm not sure what that costs. I don't know. Well, you could say he technically – okay. You could call it server theft. He, he owns he the corporate. hardware. Yeah. Yeah, but he had a subpoena to give over that hardware, and he just conveniently paid someone to come get it before they grabbed it. That's essentially what happened. See, I had no so, idea. I didn't know that at all. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it running out of his like fucking house now, or his apartment, or whatever he lives up in Serbia. He's got it. Uh, he's got it all set up there on his own on his own personal internet because he can't he can't get a line. So he all, all that shit that happened with the drop Kiwi Farm stuff with Cloudflare dropping him and all that stuff. But he started um, that he's too. Been just battling. So he started going after Ke- he started going after Keffels. He did a mad at the internet on Keffels when everybody else was. Was fucking with him too, and he's like, "Let me get in on this." Yeah, about know? the destiny stuff. Yeah, yeah, he went and over then, the whole destiny. And you know, yeah. Keffels is like, "All right." I mean, it's at the end of the day, his site, his site's only down because of his own fucking mouth. I mean, I told him in 2018 when I mean, you and I both used the site at one point. It was sure. decently enough to use it. I agree. It, I stopped using it over a year ago because it was just too shit. It was garbage. When your sub threat, when you're when they made that little gun sub form thing happen, that's when it really. I mean, that well, honestly, it's that's a, when it went down. You took him out because you know, that was a, it's that a was lot a waste. Of, a lot of people have told me that actually. 
actually, uh, that you can yeah. measure the well, decline I mean, in quality of the, the site because it was a personal you vendetta. Had the Claire Bear Chud Buds leak shit happen, right? Yeah. I, I, I don't mean to cut you off. That's I just, fine. I got no, to bounce here in a couple minutes. That's cool. Go ahead. Yeah, the Claire Bear leak Chud Buds shit happen. And what do we see? We see fucking Brian Holloman in North Carolina and this <laughs> Christorian X guy, uh, you know, uh, coming up with all these crazy ideas that I run the internet and, and with Zoom and, and all this nutty shit and passing it along to Jim and all these fucking idiots and Josh. And all this stuff, and then, uh, then you see him. You see the the Christorian X guy going over to the admins of Kiwi Farms and bribing them to look the other way so they can fuck with you. And it's like, and Josh is like, "That's okay, that's fine, that's justified, doesn't matter." And it's like, okay, well then, why you've been hacked a dozen times? There's no way anybody could trust you with your information, um, with any personal information. With Josh, you just you just couldn't do it, even if you thought that was the case. And then you're over here, and you let your staff members just do a bunch of shit under bribery. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, like, it's just not a way to run a uh, run a business. And I mean, that is his business, technically speaking. So, I just don't understand. He's a he's a moron, and he and his his site being down is his own fault. Now it's never coming back on the clarinet. He's he's got to do a dark website to a hundred people, if that, uh, for and, the rest of the time. Yeah, I don't I don't see it coming back to the clarinet. Um, and like you said, the 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 form with me, it you can just measure the decline in the site when they started that up. Because it was a personal yes. vendetta. Well, it was already going down a year prior to that. That's but true. Re- but that was when it was the, like, the beginning of the end because him and Jim, they started that personal vendetta with you. So it, it, that, that was just it. And it was like, okay, so you're going to go to war uh, with a streamer. And, uh, you know, everybody makes mistakes and everybody has their own fuck-ups. Just like I fuck up, you fuck up. Sure. But these guys were, like, just trying to get you to fuck up in their own way as much as possible. I mean, you already know. Some of these guys well, want to death. They're breaking their insanity. own rules as far as interfering with people and, like, getting involved. And, you know, they're supposed to observe. And the old Kiwi Farms, I was I used it, right? I was there. And yeah, we both so, did. Yeah, both and, did. and so if somebody was telling bullshit or making up a fake story, they would get checked in the thread and be like, that's not real. You know, that's bullshit. Yes. And yes, it slowly became. Years yes, Yes. Yeah, that went away completely. That's right. Uh, where well, it's just what like, was then pushed was is they'll tell a kernel of truth. And then they'll just spin their own narrative and, and it is what it is. It's just, you know, Josh is getting what he deserves. He was told by me and other people in 2018 and 2017 that if he kept kept acting like a retard and, and posting all these crazy shit as the owner of the site over and over again, that it would just his site would not exist and he would fucking either end up in cuffs or alone in some fucking third world shithole. And here he is now. And and it couldn't have happened to a better person. I couldn't agree more. Quite frankly, couldn't have happened to a better fucking piece of shit. So I have been monitoring the situation. I I got to bounce. Thanks, man. Uh, Appreciate you, you stopping. On. You too, man. So it's good uh, you me. take care. You take care too, man. King of Paul, blast from the past. Throwback Thursdays. Wow, I did not expect that calling. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.